in Clarkston. Let's go check it out. Hello everyone, welcome to It's a Good Day Win. I'm your host, LaVon Upton, and the purpose of our show is to introduce businesses and community members to one another. We want people to tune in and learn about what's going on with our business and our neighbors. Today we're talking to our guest, Dr. James Wilhelmson. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? You did. He's the director of the Clarkston Conservatory of Music because we think it's a good day when we have a conservatory of music right here in Clarkston. What's going on behind the doors of 49 South Main Street? Uh, what's been going on for 52 years, 53 years now, uh, lessons. We Is that teach right? lessons, yes. Uh -huh. Music lessons? Music lessons. And vocal and instrumental? Vocal, instrumental, guitar, piano, uh, violin, Celtic fiddle, viola, Celtic dance, flute. Did I say voice? No. Voice. Well, and kinder music. Kinder music. You'll have to tell us more about that. So uh, the building is a historic building. Has it always been located in that building? Yes, it has. Uh, it was founded by Ivan Rouse in 1961. And uh, actually, it's one of the oldest buildings in Clarkston. It was built sometime in the 1830s. Hmm, is that right? Yes. And um, so you offer the instrumental, you offer the vocal, and how many students do you have? Um, I would say roughly 300 students. 300, that looks like a small house. Well, we have uh, uh, the entire basement is used for uh, dance and for kinder music. And then we have about six studios upstairs. Is that right? And we're so? full six days a week. And you told me, I think that um, most of the lessons are private lessons? Yes. One-on-one so on one with the teacher. One-on-one on one with the teacher. Mm -hmm. And do you have any classroom? Are they all one-on-one? On one? Class lessons are pretty much limited to uh, performance classes and kinder music. Mm -hmm. um, well, we have a lot of uh, photos, and a lot of them show the decor. Mm -hmm. So I was just wondering, it's, it's beautiful. What, and, and I asked you what the decor was, and what did you say? And I said, shabby chic. <laughs> Whose job was that? Actually, we had a woman who was, uh, uh, she, she was in her 80s, and she studied piano with me. And she also ran a uh, uh, antique shop mm -hmm. and brought in many of her antiques to furnish the place. So it was her idea to do shabby chic. Very charming. And I liked it. Yeah, so. it was very charming. Um, well, so how many classrooms do you have? Uh, six classrooms for teaching and uh, uh, downstairs the entire basement mm -hmm. for classes. Tell us about yourself. Well, I've been a freelance musician ever since I was uh, 18. And I have uh, a bachelor's and a master's degree from the University of Michigan in piano performance. Mm -hmm. I have a doctorate in piano performance, chamber music, and vocal accompanying from also the University of Michigan. I studied at the Oberlin Conservatory, and I studied in Vienna as a Fulbright Scholar uh, at the Hochschule. That's pretty impressive. It was fun. What brought you to our little town of Clarkston? Ivan Rouse, the, the founder of the conservatory, gave me a call mm -hmm. and asked me to come and teach. That was in 1976. You've been there that long? Yes. Did you know him in advance? No, I did not. You just knew of maybe his reputation? Not even that. I no. had never heard of the conservatory or Ivan. Mm. Well, lucky us, I guess, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Um, now, uh, it's a nonprofit, right? Yes, it is. And why would it? Why was it like established as a nonprofit entity? Well, you may know that uh, many, if not half, of nonprofits are arts organizations, mm -hmm. and then the other, uh, the others would be religious organizations. So it's not unusual to have an arts organization that is a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. um, the idea was. Uh, it's a benefit to the community, and uh, we were not interested in making a profit off of the conservatory. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to, uh, in the future, build a recital hall in uh, the backyard of the conservatory, which would cost us about $2 million mm -hmm. that we don't have. So it would allow us to receive donations, ah, and uh, the donors would receive a tax deduction. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, you, so you have a board? Yes, we do. Yeah, that's... And the board the, runs the conservatory. Are they elected uh, or appointed? Appointed or? by me. Appointed by yes. you? Yes. Okay. Um, well, you mentioned, too, that you maintain these high standards of excellence. Mm -hmm. And what makes you have this high standard? What goes into that? All of our instructors are degreed in their field of expertise, mm -hmm. uh, or they have equivalent experience. We had a concert pianist uh, teaching at the conservatory, Thomas Schwartz, who passed away about four years ago. He did not have a degree, uh, uh, an advanced degree in piano, but he did have a concert career. So his, his career sufficed uh, for his teaching expertise. Mm -hmm. But they're all uh, degreed. Uh, musicians and we maintain very high standards. Fortunate to get them. Yes, and they're advanced degrees. They're not just bachelor's degrees. What I what draws them here? I mean, um, uh, of course, the quality of the and the reputation of that. And uh, there's a lot of word of mouth amongst mm -hmm. musicians uh, about the conservatory. It's and I know a lot of musicians, so I call people when I want them to come and teach and and I interview them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with your reputation, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, what, is, uh, what is a student's expectations for their future if they go there? That is a fraught question. Um, a fraught? <laughs> uh, I would say m many, many people, uh, young children, study music well into their teens. I, I don't have exact figures, but I'm sure that only five or ten percent of those go on to study music in college. Mm -hmm. And of those that graduate college with a degree in music, I would say five percent make a career mm. in music. So uh, expectations, it's, it's a rough field. Mm -hmm. it's, very, it's highly competitive. And I think the, the best thing to expect is that you're going to receive uh, a good education in music that not only helps you in music, but in life. Mm -hmm. And that's really our purpose. Mm -hmm. In what way would it help you in life? Well, there's a lot of research about how it uh, expands the brain, and uh, uh, reading scores are better amongst those students that study music. Mathematical scores are better. Mm -hmm. uh, the hard work involved in, in perfecting a piece of music I think has a tremendous effect on your life. I see on the screen now a piano, and oh. uh, tell me about that. Yeah, I, I, you, uh, I saw that in, in the pictures before. That piano was my piano at my piano teacher's uh, house in Romeo, Michigan when I was a teenager in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. That Steinway was my piano. Your first piano? Well, it wasn't my personal piano, okay. but it was her piano, and I took lessons on it. Ah, I see. So it holds a lot of, <laughs> of uh, I, I love that piano. That's neat. Um, now, I know you are going to, you want to have some fundraisers because you have plans to build a concert. Tell me about that. Yeah, our long-term plans, and we've actually been working on this for years. Uh, the long-term plans is to build a uh, concert hall in the backyard behind the conservatory. 
because there will be a shot showing that you do have the space and so forth. Yeah, we've gone through all the plans with architectural, uh, all, all of that, and we do have the space. Mm -hmm. uh, what we need is the uh, donations. Aha. Uh -huh. And we have uh, given open houses and fundraisers, but it's, it's been on a small scale. Uh, you really, uh, we're going to have to raise close to $2 million. And that sort of thing, uh, it's pretty difficult with bake sales to make that sort of money. So what we need to do and what we're trying to do right now is hire a professional fundraising person. Oh. And uh, hopefully that will get things going. Uh, now you had some ideas. Uh, people can make pledges, right? They certainly can. Um, you can have receptions there. Wedding receptions, parties. Uh, well, that that's why the decor of the shabby chic is kind of appealing, not just for music, but wedding receptions or special events. Um, A lot of students come to the conservatory and have their uh, their senior pictures taken. Oh, is that right? At the conservatory, yes. Oh, great We don't idea. charge for that. Uh, <laughs> so. Well, maybe you should. Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. um, and recitals. Oh, People yes. People can hold their own recitals. They can. We have limited uh, space. So we would we'd only seat about 45 people. And, okay. and usually that doesn't work for a recital. And then uh, some of your students can be hired out as groups to entertain, is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Do they do that now, form they do. their own little groups? And, and They do, and as soloists. And so does the faculty. Uh-huh. Oh, and the faculty, too. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. Do people know that around here? I think some do. Okay. We don't advertise very much. So. Well, you'll have to come back here often enough to get the word out and appear and tell us what's Thank going you. on. Thank you. I'd love that. And uh, so we have some contact information for okay. you that'll be on the screen. You're right in town, right on Main Street. Can't miss you. I go by there the, all the time. That's across from the Clarkston Union. Oh, so everybody people knows should that. know that. So we want to thank you for being with us today. And... Um, we invite anybody out in the community to appear on It's a Good Day Win. And uh, the rest of you, just go out there and make it a good day.